Hello, scrap tubers! <laughs> so, for those of you who are looking for some nice new stems, um, stay on and watch this video. Uh, for those of you who are, have enough of stems, their closet is just overbearing with stems, um, supplies, or you're not interested, you don't want to be tempted, move on, move on. Go to the next video, maybe my new card making mini uh, mania tutorial or my new shabby chic mini album. Um, all out for editing, pending for editing. But okay, if you're looking for some new supplies, some new stamps, um, then um, stay tuned because um, recently I had a major haul. It was my first haul major haul shopping this year so i got some uh, quite a number of packages from us um and i brought them in and um, out of all of it i probably would do maybe i think three or four hauls which uh just some product reviews which uh, from the smaller companies i've never purchased before and i would just like to share my two cents to those um, international scrappers who don't you know get to see all this stuff um yeah Okay, so for my first uh, part one of the series, haul series is just right stamps. And seriously, they're a bit more pricier than the normal um, Inka Dinka Do or uh, Prima stamps or, uh, you know, the normal clear Crafty Secrets art stamps. A little bit more pricey, I would say. Just I was really hesitant to buy it. But I kept on watching Arlene's MFT videos and, well, you know, if you keep on watching it, <laughs> you uh, end up buying it. So... <laughs> Okay, so I did, um, I, I, I decided to go to the MFT website and I was really surprised at uh, all the selection that they have there. They're really, really gorgeous. And I'm so glad that I actually finally made the effort uh, to, to buy Just Right Stamps. And this is how I store it. I store it in a folder, something like this. Okay, and um, I don't want to zoom in and zoom out because this video doesn't autofocus. So you just have this angle throughout the whole video. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Okay, um, so I just keep it in a folder and I really liked it because it's easy for me to flip through. If I have it in the plastic and all that, it's just going to be so difficult for me. Uh, you know, it's just annoying to rip out the plastic bag, open it up and whatever. Okay, so this is a folder binding and I highly recommend it. It's very simple, uh, cheap and get binders everywhere. For um, So uh, this is my greetings from Paris stem and I really like it. And um, why I really love these stems because they absorb the ink number one very well because some clear stems is just they're so difficult to absorb it and um, this is this is you can see some of the stems I think this one is not this one okay this one is a shabby chic labels for and this one is this this stamp here and then I have the cart postel which is this stamp here which looks like this yeah so it's not the whole square okay so i was a bit surprised but okay so the whole square you make it yourself you only get this line here um, but i really love it anyway the rubber is really great quality rubber uh is deeply etched so the details on the text comes out beautifully and let me show you a sample here so I just stamped it like this and it just looks so nice. I don't have to color it, nothing. Just stamp it on the text and you get two beautiful texts. And the uh, details comes out really, really nice. I don't know, um, the camera is, can't really focus if I come too close. But yes, really great stamp. So this shabby chic labels for... This is vintage oval labels and what is really great is that they are, they are custom made to work with spell binders as well so um, if you have happened to have the spell binders and it will tell you what spell binders it works with so this works with labels 13 but i think you could just get any oval um you know um you don't have to have the exact label um i think i've tried it with different spell binder labels and it works as well it's just probably not an exact fit but you know you just make do right with what you have this is you inspire me and it has i inspire me have a fabulous birthday you are a wonderful friend you're simply amazing thanks great uh really uh, just right cling stems have really really great stems for making cards and well i haven't had a card making mania tutorial for a long time and with this i just wasted no time and i whip it out 
and made some cards so this one is elegant frames i really love the frames and this is forever friends and so what i do is i also stamp it here on a white piece of paper i put in a clear folder so i can also see how it looks like and um, i also because i got some new inks as well so i just wrote down the ink name so i know how the inks also looks like but again there's a lot of details in all these stems and it's such great quality stems every single detail you see here comes out exactly i'm no kidding so i wasted no time like i said and came out with some shabby chic cards and um this will be my, on my next card making mania tutorial so look out for that all right hope that helps and um, totally highly recommended uh the price is pretty worth it <laughs> but what you can try to do i got like two stems from peachy peachypeach.com one of those scrap deals uh, website and i got like two for the price of one so that was really fantastic um okay so see you in my next haul ciao